eggs, meat, potatoes, how do you know you're getting the amount you're paying for? The Missouri Department of Agriculture's Weights and Measures Division can answer that. I took some time to follow around Inspector Harold Sumner. We met at Gerbs in Jefferson City. Harold showed me how some of the products are inspected for accuracy. This ground beef, we subtract for the actual weight of the package material. And compare the net weight of the package to the amount on the scale. And on average, these would meet the label requirements. We also do inspection of commodities to make sure that the packages on average meet or exceed the labeled weight of the package. Also, uh, method of sale uh, includes making sure that the customer can understand the price and the quantity and uh, the value of the product. So in this case, the package is labeled with, uh, first off, what it is, so they can understand what the product is, the quantity in terms of weight, this is net weight, and price per pound, and then the total price, so that you can see what you're getting and uh, want to make sure that you get what you pay for. We also check products to make sure that uh, they meet the labeled weight on the package. This is a scale that we use, it's a really accurate scale. So when we weigh the products, we make sure that they actually weigh what they say they do. Determine the, the net weight of a package. First we have to uh, establish the weight of the package material and subtract that from the gross weight of the product. So the weight of the product is 4.65 pounds. The actual gross weight of the total package is 4.66 pack, uh, pounds. So we subtract for the weight of the package material. about one hundredth of a pound and, it, and we actually weigh into the one thousandth of a pound accuracy. On average they have to meet or exceed the label weight listed on the product. So now I've subtracted for the weight of the package material and we're going to compare the net weight on the package with the actual net weight of the product in the package and this package is in compliance. It actually weighs 4.652, which is slightly more than what the label weight says. What we're looking at is to make sure they meet grade standards, which we have allowances for broken eggs, for dirty eggs, any kind of an interior quality uh, problem, and we have allowances for that or tolerances. And when we do an inspection of the eggs, we actually are checking them to make sure they're within the guidelines. And the way we do that is we have a candling light. We can look at the egg, you can see that the shell is unbroken. And also if there were any defects as far as like blood spots or um, any kind of an interior quality thing, it would show up when you put them next to the light. And basically what they're doing is they're grading them, they're taking out all the ones that have anything wrong with them. And again, we check them to make sure they're within the allowance established by the guidelines. It's not only important to make sure the food product's measurements are correct, but the actual scales they're measured on are also correct. Harold walked me through that process too. This particular uh, scale has a display up here that displays the weight. And when we come in to do an inspection, we apply the weight and uh, make sure that they're in tolerance, that is that they're accurate to a degree. 
depending on the capacity of the scale and the quantity of weight being applied. The capacity of the scale is 30 pounds. At 30 pounds, it weighs 29.98, is still in compliance. I also spoke with Weights and Measures Program Manager Steve Gills about the standards that are used for inspecting the items. The standards that we use are developed by the National Conference of Weights and Measures. They're a collaboration of the 50 states. They're presented to the National Conference and they're voted on by each of the states. And if they pass by two-thirds vote, they're therefore adopted and into our code books and therefore each state is required to adopt the code books into state law. Okay. Does uh, Missouri have its own set of rules and regulations? Yes, we do have a, uh, our, Missouri has their own set of weights and measures, rules and regulations and statutes and they're adopted into chapter 413 under revised Missouri statutes. And so when you send an inspector out into the stores, um, what are they trying to when the inspector goes into the store, we're out, we're out there basically providing consumer protection, ensuring that the consumer is receiving what he is paying for. Along with that, we're also providing educational information to the stores, ensuring that they understand all the rules and requirements, making sure that they're providing what the consumer is paying for as well. Most of the time, cashiers have worked in the business so long that they know the item numbers for produce and other things that don't have a tag on them. But a handy tip for you if you want to guarantee you're paying for the product you've picked up is to write down the PLU number you see near an item's price sign. Then when you check out, make sure the cashier is putting in the correct code. I'm Amy Winder for the Agri-Missouri Showcase.